Hi everyone, Tiniest the Chippies here, and we're back with, uh, AI, um, so, I have to stop it because, you know, it's in of the wheel, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't fuck up anything, and yada yada yada. Look, a crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. Mm-hmm. So. Oh yeah, so um, dashboard. Dashboard. Okay. Let me set the timer real quick before I forget. Because this is the last episode I can do for today. Though this will probably be like episode six, I believe. Episode It'll be an ep it's either six or seven. I think it's six though. Um. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Look at him. Shit, he Perhaps he's had too much medication. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> I love Dante so much. No, oh, it's me. <laughs> Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Look at him. That's a shit eating grin. I love it. I was wondering, like, why can't it. Why isn't it starting? Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. Why would I hide them there? The passenger seat. It's empty. Huh, what am I missing? The gear shift. Something is missing. What am I forgetting? I'm no longer highlighted. Maybe that button? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to switch. Examine. Dashboard. Alright, time to do the, the shenanigans. Because apparently I'm missing something. Wait, there was something green for like a split second. Can I see it? Oh! Oh! There you go, Ava! Right in the middle of the dashboard. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Mm -hmm. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. 
It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Hmm. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Sorry, I'm trying to get the... <sighs> Damn it. I'll figure it out later. So I don't got time for these sheets. You know? Um... Oh, you know what I want to do? The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Coffee. Peace. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Anything here on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. I know this game is quick. Hmm. Police headquarters, Saturday, 4th, 26 p.m. Why is it all darkish? Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Asuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. And here is where we get into some meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. Sorry, I was trying to get the dang mouse to move. Being dumb. 
Constant monitor. Keyword. What's he doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Iba. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. That's Peter, his real name is... <sighs> and I'm... He's 36 years old. I wasn't gonna fucking pro figure out how to pronounce that. Remember British, like me. He's a genius engineer that designed the psych and the other machines. He's also invented Iba, caretaker in a way. Right now he's operating the psych machine. Boss. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he? I don't know. I know things. Vaguely. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which mm -hmm. is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Dante. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. I'm watching this to the glass. There's nothing on the map on the monitor. Um can I please highlight the thing? It's just a chair. Sight machine. I'm kind of going through everything now because I'm like, what if I get another thing in my bob? You know? Pack of books. Yelm. <laughs> Peter, interesting. Our homoerotic. Another place along the wall. I was like, oh. Dante, look. It's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? That's the ring. No one cut out of it yet. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? Internet, probably? Like the manual for the psych machine. That might come in handy. Things on the table. Door. I don't know why I thought the stairs would have something, but it didn't. Hmm? Mizuki. He exit. Monitor it on. Locker. Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. 
That's rock. Out there in the corner of the room. Okay, let's talk to Peter. We are ready to be. Date, go to the sink. Got it. Why isn't this working? Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Sorry. Just messing with the thing. Hopefully I can get it to work. Not that y'all care. But if I can get the computer to work, I can probably start recording, you know. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but... I'm not an ordinary Gosh, policeman. I love the way this I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind and state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So... How do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Mizuki's lying on a chair. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Hmm, he says, she says there's six, so that means there's another fucking five characters, right? So, my thing is, who are the other five? Because I don't think it's the boss, and it's not Peter, obviously. Hey, Mizuki, when this is all over, what should I say? When it's all, when this is all over... So, get some ramen. Hold up. Menu. I'm going to cheat. Um. I think. No, it's persons. Aiba Mizuki. Stew. Onigiri. Metal pipes. Iris. Let's go for ramen. I like how it says profession or sixth grader. Um. It's raw seafood. Okay, how Dante's holds chopsticks. Okay, so sushi is not good. Let's go for ramen. But I'm also gonna save it. Just in case. 
I don't remember what I said. Honestly, I don't. Should I go for armor? I know you guys aren't seeing what I'm doing right now. So which is makes this perfectly fine. Okay, okay. Sorry, like it comes off as a bad screen for y'all. But um Alright. Let's do like let's get some ramen. Ramen. That ramen with the corn that looks like pig slop. I thought it was garbage, but you loved it. I'll go get some with you. Date, your choice of words. I thought I chose pretty good words. Date, her heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent. I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Got it. You ready? Okay. Ready any time. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in oh, the Somnium world. Minutes. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find I a lead and get out in under six minutes. I told my sister it was an hour. We're counting I was like... on you. Because I couldn't remember. I remember the six Let's part. Begin. I was like, it was either a minute or an hour. I was like, I think it's an hour. Dumbass. I am a dumbass. Nope, it was six minutes, which is still not a lot of fucking time. An hour is quite a bit of time, which would make sense. Six minutes is just like... Doesn't... It's not a lot of time. Where's Ava? Ava? Ava, Ava. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of Sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! Time to lock one. Two. Three. 
information with me by having her in her room to be able to get information. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Iba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Would you like a Samia and tutorial? Well, I'm gonna hit no. No. Yes, let's just go for yes and then we'll six minutes, time exponential moving forward, performing action, pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper eye, lots of mental loss within 360 seconds. Time limit. Get rid of the lightning. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause the time because that, um, this is the end of the episode. So we're going to end this here and we will continue next time. So Tiny Sachibis is uh, signing out.